on the foot. Mad. <laughs> Done some times on this. See that? It's like it's got anti lag or something. <laughs> You hear them pains? Me press trigger, me no press people button. Nobody chat come face me with something. Like how me have 22 in a me something. Can I feel so forget the next thousand fool? Press trigger, me no press people button. Nobody chat come face me with something. Like how me have 22 in a me something. Can I feel so forget the next thousand. So guys, check it. 2018 Audi RS3 finished in Nardo Grey. Let me tell you, this is the 1010. Some of you may already recognize the car because we did recently do a giveaway. Uh, the reason we still got it is because the winner took the cash alternative. So we actually transferred 33,500 quid straight to his account. And uh, yeah, he already owned an RS6. So, you know, we don't need two cars. So when we offer a cash alternative, we usually set up a deal with the trader. Basically, when we went to sell this back to the dealer, they tried to offer us less money. So we're like, fun that, we're just gonna do it again. So literally, we put up a comment and, and, and it seemed to get a lot of likes. So here we are again, doing the RS3 again. So yeah, as I say, 2018, not a gray RS3. It's got the facelift Dazza, the, the 25 kilo lighter aluminium block. Handles a lot better than the pre-facelift. You know, it's got reworked suspension. And of course, this car's got the 19 inch ultra lightweight Motec alloy, similar to the black one. And if you remember the black one we did a little while ago, these are a little bit lighter. So from the steering wheel, the car just feels so much better. We come to the private registration as well. Slow five cylinder, full maximum body kit. Apparently stage two tune, 550 horsepower. Sounds like a lot of power for a stage two. Obviously these engines do respond well to tunes, but 550 sounds a bit high. Let me know in the comments. Apparently Euro spec. You may also recognize this car from uh, a massive YouTube channel, Car Wow. So it actually featured in a race against a 22, uh, sorry, a 2022 Audi R8 and also an Audi RS Q8. Just lost to the R8, but smoked the RS Q8. So it was a fast car, guys. Uh, we've got upgraded intercooler. We've got even Turi intake system. And we also have upgraded brakes all around. So obviously the calipers are huge from factory. They're almost something that you get on an R8, but the discs themselves, apparently the, these are Brembo discs. You can see they're like two piece discs as well. You can see it's an LCI. You've got the LCI tail lights. It's got the sports exhaust from factory, full maximum body kit. So you've got the fuser. You've got the rear wing here as well. It's just like a little add on. Check out this cool feature here, man. This has got to be the best feature on there, people. Have a look at that, Oscar. Jesus, you know what I'm saying? Objects are losing, bro. Comes with a panoramic roof and uh, interior wise, you can see, we've got, look, Audi Sport that shines on the floor. Check out the door cars, man. Look, Alcantara, red stitching, leather. Bro, this car, oh, I love this car, man. We've got all aluminum here. Uh, you can see we've got the RS3 kick plates with the sport seats as well. So the diamond quilted, you've got the RS embossed into the headrests, flat bottom steering wheel. We've got the dual clutch transmission. They call it the S-Tronic gearbox. Also the paddles themselves, actually, let me jump in. Yeah, the paddles here. Um, let's uh, get the car started. Oh, you know, mate. Have a look at the paddles. So these are apparently off of uh, a Lamborghini Urus and they do feel really nice, man. Get that roof back. Cause obviously man's a boss in that. Mad ting setting. We've got Bang & Nelson Audio. Look, you can see, look, all illuminated, illuminated cup holders. Anyway, let's jump out and see what she's like on the road. Right now you're listening to the big sound, why are they not west? Let me be the beast and why can't me, I don't look at any block, but they know me up next, I wanted them, what them, I love, they got them. Right, let's go champ. Let's go champ. Wow. Now this one's very, very loud. Clearly decatted. Got upgraded downpipe. I've got the downpipe that's actually on this car. Just have a look at this. Sorry, have a listen to this. Windows down. The even Churi. Can you hear that? random bang it's weird i don't know what the the gear software is all about but it seems like it's pre-spooling the turbo when you downshift so if i flatten now look see it takes a while and then it spools the turbo almost 
But yeah, just man, I feel I just love being in the RS3, man. You you guys know I'm a fanboy. Rocket shit. So you know I went out in the black one which was 515 horsepower. Uh, this one you could definitely say is that little bit faster. Done some times on this. See that? It's like it's got anti-lag or something. <laughs> you hear them? You hear them bangs? Yo, the RS3 man. So yeah, I mean what do I say guys? Like being inside this cabin, it's it just makes you feel good, man. This is a car that you're buying. They're very expensive cars. You can pay up to 60 grand for some of these pre-facelift RS3s, you know, high 50s. Crazy to think how expensive they are, but you know, comparing them to the M140s and the you know, even a, 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 a pre-facelift RS3 or even the Golf R's, mate, it's, it's a whole nother caliber of car, man. The, the, the way it's so planted on the road, the cabin design is just really nice. Obviously, it's a lower spec Audi. It's just an Audi A3, but of course, top of the range RS3. It just feels very premium, you know? Look at these, like, I don't even know what this effect is on the door card, but all the Alcantara, the red stitching, the flat bottom wheel with the virtual display, you plug your phone in, it automatically connects up to Spotify. You know, like the M140 takes a little while. Mad. Upgraded forged turbo elbow. We've got upgraded intercooler. It's tuned by Eurospec. Some of you may remember the Ferrari that I filmed. I think it was an F12, the one that I broke. Uh, I'm sure that is Eurospec. Yeah, that's crazy, man. This is uh, definitely a lot quicker than the black one. Yeah, I mean, it does feel 35 40 brake more. Yeah, literally. And yes, guys, I can notice the difference with 30 40 brake, literally. So yeah, we've got the facelift engine, so it's 25 kilos lighter. Uh, the front ends, just that bit more pointy, man. Doesn't sort of throw itself off offline. How much I love the Evos and the Subaru that I recently uh, drove. I think it'll be very hard to get away from something like this. The only problem is, uh, I don't know. I don't know whether it's that these cars don't have the capability or it's just you can extract this performance so easy. Like. Like maybe you can just drive the shit out of these cars with ease that you get to a point where you can understeer it like, it, sorry, that it will understeer. Bro, that is a kick, man. The brakes are amazing. So we've got upgraded uh, Brembo discs. Let's get the windows back down. We'll get the sunroof back down again. Yeah, the, R, the RS3 is that guy, innit? It's that guy, innit? You know what I'm saying? Because so many people have them, people almost turn their nose to them, yeah? And, and you have to think, guys, the reason that so many people have the same car is because they're fucking awesome. Like, the Golf R is a really good car. The RS3 is just, like, it's ridiculous. It is sick. You need to drive one. I've said it before, if you like your M cars, you like the, 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 the feeling of that sharp front end, you get a similar feeling in this, in this later generation RS3. I'd love to get out in a new RS3, might probably buy one soon for for the website guys let me know your thoughts would you like us to to do a new rs3 like as a giveaway uh, one thing I, I will say is um the suspension uh, i would not lower the suspension in an rs3 i know it probably makes it look better well it definitely does make it look better but you're definitely sacrificing you know your your daily drivability like bro it feels like i can feels like i'm gonna bottom out man literally So 
guys I'm gonna end the video there I was gonna not shoot a video on this it's only because we relaunched it on the website and I did notice a few comments saying why have you not filmed it uh, we do have some very interesting upcoming cars you'll see they'll be landed on the on the YouTube any second but just a quick reminder somebody will be of course winning this car this Sunday 10 30 for literally one pounds 99p if you don't want the car we're once again offering a cash alternative of 33 and a half thousand pounds so that get transferred straight to your account immediately if you are the winner and believe me these winners are very real i know there's people that are skeptical and like, oh, it's my friends or it's this or that come on guys just watch one of the live tune in and you'll see just how transparent uh, this whole operation is so guys i am going to end it there as always if you enjoyed it hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're new and i'll see you soon thanks for watching bye Me with something like when me have 22 in a me something. Then I feel so forget the next thousand fool. Press trigger me no press people button. Nobody chat come face me with something like when me have 22 in a me something. Then I feel so forget the next thousand. Anytime they ready for now, we see start war. See who no fit spread it out more than it are. See who no fit change lights up late from Slow me down like speed hum. No. Keep up when I speed up. See your future, that's my past. Yeah. See the smoke when I drive past. Yeah. Fast lane, living life fast. See a girl, she's in my car. Mm. Oh well, that's your girl in my hotel. That's five stars. Yeah. Make the rules disappear.